But it's, it's probably to do with the fact that they can't see under there. So there's hairs, I would imagine, will have some sort of sensory feel to them. So they'll be able to get things into their mouth a little bit better. That's also coupled with the fact that hairs, like we see on ears, often help to, and eyelashes, help to prevent dust and dirt getting into the mouth itself. So I'd imagine those are the two reasons why they have it. Oh, little one, you got to keep up. Mom's running across the road. Now I'm going to try and see if I can't just get round again one more time so we can see them as they meander off towards the Mulawati. But they may definitely are not as relaxed as if it was not raining. You can see they're moving a lot quicker. So that's one little family grouping. You can see her different size calves that she's had. The the middle one is now coming so there's the tiny baby then the oldest one and then the middle one will be lagging behind shortly will arrive as well there it is so that's one little family grouping and this is what we'll see so what we saw later was just the back end of this herd and it was a small grouping of individuals together which are probably directly related and then this is now we at the front end of the herd and you can see they're making their way down to the Mulawati which is fantastic news for us because hopefully we're going to go see them play around in the sand and dig for water so I'm going to quickly shoot round before they get into the Mulawati we're going to lose visual of them for a little bit and it'll be better for us to be down there already and be patient and wait for them than to go crashing in after them through the thickets so let's go and see if we can't just get into position first Oh, there's another one right here. So it seems as though some of them have already made their way down to the Mulawati. I think this is close to where Byron had those leopard trucks as well, which we'll keep an eye out for. If there's a herd of elephants roaming through, this, if there is a leopard, it will be flushed. So it's not a bad place to be. But here we go. They haven't come down yet into the Mulawati. They are slowly but surely heading this way. I can see them coming down one by one. So we should see them in the next, I would say, two minutes coming down. All right. I just want to come slowly so that they don't get a fright. Here we go. There they are. Let's let them just settle down and get into the sand and see what they get up to. Because I'm hoping they're going to dig a little bit for water. Maybe play around with the sand a bit. Oh, steep bank, a little bit too steep for the little one. Look at it trying to negotiate the bank. I think you might fall, little one. Oopsie. Oh, oh. no, we did all right. Much better job than with Jamie's elephant that Jamie had just before she left Juma and went to the Mara. She had an elephant that got stuck on the bank and couldn't get up, and she was right there. And eventually, with some efforts, they managed to pull it up. This one is far more mobile. Up there we go, got to use your head to get a bit of leverage and run. <laughs> Baby elephants are the best things. You've got to love them. It's like going to the beach. You release one onto some sand and all of a sudden it's just the crazy comes out. They're running all over the place. They're playing. They're up and down, in the sand, out the sand. It's very typical. <laughs> So cool to watch. I love watching little Ellie's. Right, let's just go forward here and we'll try and keep up with them. And I don't think they're going to dig for water like I was hoping, but at least they're playing around a bit, which is cool to see. And this won't be the only Ellie's. There will be more that are going to follow in behind. There are a couple others that are still on their way to this area. 